Since schools reopened in January, at least 24 schools in different parts of the country have reported fire outbreaks, which have led to the death of at least eight students. <laughs> Today, private school proprietors and administrators in Kampala's Kawempe Division have met at Mbogo High School to receive training on safety and security against fire outbreaks. The proprietors have attributed fire outbreaks to unhealthy competition among schools and communities. Our workers, people who have left the place unhappy, for instance, maybe they, you've got disagreements and he can't work with you and you dismiss, dismiss him away out of the school, he works with the people within the school and they harm you in one or the other. Some other one would want to uh, harm you by, by, by lighting one of the dormitory so that you can, you can speed, uh, reduce the speed of development, which we think is a bad, a bad competition. These also agree that there has been some negligence on their part. We are encouraging uh, or requesting Ministry of Education and the structure of the Ministry of Education to keep monitoring and visiting these schools to, to see that they, are, they, are, they, they implement these things. Otherwise, people relax. Whenever there are no problems, people intend to relax. Eli Walusimbi, the community liaison officer from Police Fire Brigade, says the school administrators and owners have been equipped with vital skills and tips. They've also been reminded to pay more attention to safety. Let them be with guards who are trained, not somebody because he's your relative, and then you put him as a guard. Don't give different tasks. During the day, is a cook. At night, is a guard. He cannot perform. You put not every window, but they can put some. And say this one will act as emergency exit because not some of the the, the dormitories they have good exit. So these windows will act as exit. Whenever there are fire outbreaks in schools, the owners lose their property and sometimes students lose their lives. Partnering with financial institutions and insurance companies is one way the schools can mitigate the losses caused by fire. It has fire and special parents which means that it would be able to reinstate property if lost through fire. Uh, it has a burglary section, and we all know burglary is theft. So we're looking at um, the lab, computer labs, we're looking at the libraries in case uh, burglars broke in. On their part, the Education Ministry has promised to carry out frequent inspections and stricter enforcement of the safety guidelines. Have they put in place the basics? Because all these things we are talking about, the drills, is there evidence that they do drills? Is it documented? The, 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 the fire extinguishers, the exit uh, opportunities, especially where there are dormitories. This training will be rolled out to the rest of the country. Oliver Kamgisha, NTV News.